going on everybody? How you doing today? Today we're going to put the EveryBot 3 spin mopping robot through this first test. If you're aware of this channel, this is very similar to the Samsung JetBot that uses two pads and they spin in opposite directions and will clean an area completely randomly. Now that with the two mopping pads did a very very good job cleaning. It's probably one of my favorite mopping bots out there. But my big complaint on that bot is that it was not smart whatsoever. It was 100% random and that was it. Now this one has three spinning mopping pads that all rotate at once. All are always making contact the entire time it's cleaning. And this should be able to follow its own lines and kind of have an idea of where it's already cleaned. So this overall should be much better and I love the other one. So hopefully this guy does a great job. Hopefully I can highly recommend it to you guys. As you can see at the bottom, it has three pads, which is pretty smart because, you know, these two are rotating and anything in front of this, it's going to scrub and then anything kind of right down the middle might sneak past. Then you have another entire pad that's going to soak up what this missed, essentially. So I did pre-soak the pads like they said to. I just put 100% water in this. I'll have to let you guys know if you can add cleaning solutions to it. I think you can, but I'm not sure if it has to be specific ones. So we're going to put this on the highest flow. Uh, as you can see, the battery is full. And this thing is supposed to be very quiet. Now, like I said before, the Samsung one was really good. It was really quiet. It cleaned great, and I think this guy's going to do a really good job. So let's just go ahead and start cleaning. Let me show you the little bit of a mess I put down. And we'll see at the end how dirty the pads are, and then how well it actually cleaned up the mess that I put down. Alright, so pretty much right in front of it, I put down a little bit of juice. There's a little bit of ketchup, mustard spread around, some ranch. <laughs> yeah, I went through my refrigerator for some condiments. And then that is some Parmesan cheese. I wanted to see what it would do with kind of more of a clumpy thing to kind of simulate dirt in a way. I wanted to see if that would get clogged up on the pad or if it would just spread it around or what exactly it's going to do. So I'm going to have to clean this whole area. Kitchen area, dining room, and then it should not go up on carpets at all. It should, as soon as it senses the carpet, it should back out. There's a quick little sneak peek of something else that's coming out on this channel that I'm going to review very soon. So what do you guys think? I think with the three mopping pads, it's gonna, I think it's going to do a great job. This stuff is not dry completely. It's been down for about an hour, so it's semi-dry. And let's just go ahead and send this guy out and see how well it does. So right now it's on auto mode. Which I think is more completely random. What I want it to do is follow its own lines. Let me show you on the website here that it shows that it is able to follow its own lines. See right there. So hopefully it does that. But regardless, we're gonna let this guy go. And as soon as it's done, we'll come back and I'll show you the mess and see how well it did. Because right now, as you can see, it's just completely random. On the remote control, we have intensive, focus cleaning, edge cleaning, Y mode, I guess drain water. Tell it to clean for only 50 minutes instead of the full 200 plus minutes. And then the water control is how much you want to, to soak the pads as it's going. We have that on maximum right now. 
I love how these guys drive around, it just looks cool. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any type of mopping robots or what you plan to get in the future. There we go, it's getting close to the stains. Going over the mustard. Now what's cool is you can also control this by remote. So if it happens to miss a little bit of the mustard or stain that you know is there, you can drive it to the stain and just hold down the right or left and it will just spin on the stain and basically spin until it cleans it up. So as you can hear, if you can even hear it at all, it's very, very quiet, which is awesome. I'm going to try to figure out how to get it to follow its own lines because I think that'll do a better job than completely random. Catch up. It's getting it up pretty well. This also does have cliff sensors. Uh, it'll gently bump the wall. Pretty much everything that you want. The only thing I still wish that these had, because this is $300 and I believe $20 right now on sale. I'll put a link down in the description if you're interested. But I wish that these were smarter to wear like a robot vacuum. They'll go back and recharge automatically. A lot of really good mopping robots coming down the pipeline. But those are, you know, $800 plus. Let's see how it does with carpet detection. <laughs> that is so cool. Just kind of glides around. I like it. So as you can see, once again, this is just completely random. Now my worry with the completely randomness is it doesn't have a clue where it's at right now. And will it ever even go down here and into the kitchen area if it keeps just bouncing off walls? So I'm going to go online real quick, try to see exactly how to make it follow its own lines. And then it should do a better job cleaning, I would think. Alright guys, so unfortunately I can't find how to make it follow its lines like I showed you in that picture. So I'm just going to show you for now some of the different modes that it has. And it did find its way into the kitchen about five minutes ago. So it did do some cleaning in there, but once again, being that this is completely random right now, it most likely did not clean the entire area because it's kind of just going wherever it wants. So let me show and go ahead and show you a few of these modes. And once again, like I said, you can drive this however you want. Let's go ahead and clean up this Parmesan cheese. So you can drive it to where you want, and then you can click on focus and that should be kind of like a spot clean. So it should focus on this area that it's sitting in. And let's see how well that does. I think it's going to do perfectly fine with this Parmesan. Having that entire extra pad, it's going to soak up a ton of liquid. And then it's also going to hold a lot of that debris like, like the Parmesan or the ketchup. And once again, we'll look at the bottom of each pad when this test is done. So as you can see, it's definitely picking up the Parmesan, which is great. Alright, that is the focus, and as you can see, all the Parmesan appears to be gone. Now you can have it do a Y mode cleaning, which does a pretty good job, because you'll see it kind of goes forward, backs up, and then goes into like a Y pattern, so it kind of scrubs the same area twice. Let me see if I can aim it towards this mustard here. And I'm assuming if I hit Y mode, it should just go straight until it can't no more.
So as you can see, still pretty much random. And I'm just controlling this with the remote. Let's try intensive. So right now we're on the ketchup. As you can see, there's still mustard on the floor as well. But it only went over the mustard like one time. And I'll show you how you can completely get rid of all these stains with just the remote pretty quickly. So the intensive, as you can see, it goes forward a little bit, and then it will stop and spin every like six inches or a feet or so. So that's pretty nice. Let's drive it back over to us. And once again, there's a 50 minute if you have a smaller area. I would. I don't think they would do this whole area that I have right now in 50 minutes, so I'd let it run until basically the battery dies. And I believe that is, let me look real quick for you. So it says more than 120 minutes total. So that's pretty nice, two hours of this guy driving around. At two hours, I would assume it would get this entire area without a problem. Now, being completely random, it may not. I wish this had some sort of LiDAR or something on it that would really help. So let me go ahead and show you how you can get up a stubborn stain with just using the remote and the directional keypads. So see the mustard still? A little bit of it left, so you can just drive it to the mustard and literally just hold down the left or the right and it will just sit there and spin until you tell it to stop. So it's gonna be scrubbing that mustard this entire time. And it should get it off, let's just give it 10 seconds. It should completely get that off the floor, I hope. Go one more time. Let's go up to this ketchup area. Yeah, and then you can do it anywhere that you have a stain. Yeah, I don't see any more mustard really on that. Right here is some ranch. Once again, just drive it up to it and spin it. And that ranch, I guarantee, is going to be completely up. Even if it was fully dried, it'd probably take a little bit longer to spin it, but eventually it's going to soak it up and, sc and scrub it enough to where it's going to get it up with no issue. And by the way, this was the perfect height to fit underneath my kitchen cabinets. If it was a half an inch taller, it wouldn't have fit, so I do like that. All right, guys, so that's just a quick first test with the EveryBot 3 spin. Once again, this is on sale right now. It's normally 380, and they have a 21% off coupon, so that brings it down to about $300 or so. So pretty good price overall. I paid $250 for the Samsung when it first came out over a year ago. And that only had the dual spinning pads, and I love that thing. I thought it did a very good job cleaning. So the fact that this has three is very cool. I will update you in a later video if I find out how to make this follow its own lines. So then you kind of kind of know for sure that it cleans an entire area. But if I let this go for two hours like it claims to run for, I don't think it's going to miss any area. It's eventually going to go there. And it might even go over a bunch of the same area twice, which is one good thing about random navigation robots like this. Here's a quick look at the bottom of the unit after it cleaned all that. And the pads actually don't even look that dirty for the amount that it picked up. You can actually see the cheese inside of it. So it does do a good job of capturing debris and keeping it off your floors. So overall I like it. Once again, I do wish it was a little bit smarter overall, but I think it's a good mopping robot. It's probably one of the best you can buy under $300 for sure. All right, well, that's going to wrap up this video. Let me know down in the comments what you thought, if you plan on buying one. I think it mops very well, but they're definitely evolving. Having the three mopping pads obviously is going to clean better. It cleans for a long time. It's very quiet. If you have a smaller area than this, say half of this size, you can confidently send it out every time and it's going to clean the whole area. 
Not sure if it would do my entire hard floor area of my house. It's possible, but I don't know yet. I'll, I'll try to do a test later and see if that's possible. If you enjoyed this video at all, please smash that like button for me. Consider subscribing. I got a lot more mopping robot tests coming. I have three other mopping robots right now that I haven't even unboxed that I need to do reviews on. And later I'm going to do a mopping comparison video and tell you which one I think overall is the best mop you can get for the money. Have a fantastic holiday season and I'll see you guys in the next one.